How's it going, everybody? It's been a while since I made a video. Um, I saw some uh, studies pop up that I thought I should share, um, some news that I should share with ME and CFS. So I'm going to get into it. I'm going to put the links in the description so you can follow up and dive a little deeper. I just want to make everyone in this space aware that um, these things are happening. There is There are great minds trying to figure this issue out. There are people looking into it and other illnesses are kind of opening the door to more funding and research. So I'll jump right in here. Um, and again, I'll put the links in the description. The first one is from uh, healthrising.org and it says Berlin cures question mark could BC 007 help with long COVID and ME slash CFS. So what this goes into is current studies for long COVID and the similarities between ME and CFS and some of the symptoms that overlap. And they believe preliminarily, at least at the moment, that some of the things that may help long COVID could eventually um, help create therapeutics and, um, and hopefully one day a cure for ME CFS. So that's the first one. And there's a lot more details to that. And I encourage you to uh, take the time to take a, a deeper dive into that. The second article is from uh, YaleMedicine.org, and the headline is Long COVID, ME-CFS, and the Importance of Studying Infection-Associated Illnesses. Research on long COVID may also shine light on the underlying causes of myalgic encephalomyelitis, chronic fatigue syndrome, or ME-CFS, as it's most commonly known. So once again, there are more um, studies and people speaking about how the, pande how the pandemic created a entire you know, subgroup of people that had post viral illnesses and how it's becoming more and more common that these symptoms are overlapping with ME and CFS. Um, it, it seems to be a neuroinflammatory issue. Um, and you know, there's a lot of different theories, but they are starting to see a lot of these symptoms overlap. And I think more and more people are starting to see that it's a post viral issue. Um, and they're trying to come up with solutions for it as they're starting to see firsthand how the how long COVID and ME have really uh, disabled a lot of people. Some studies show that up to 75% of people with ME and CFS no longer can work. That, that's a pretty, pretty big number. Uh, the other article here is from sciencealert.com, um, and this goes into... Uh, ME CFS having uh, uh, biomarkers or being a biological illness. Uh, as many people know, um, in the past, uh, some doctors would say it was psychosomatic. It was a psychosomatic condition. It was on their head. It was stress. They would even tell women to find a husband to be happier and have more energy. Just you know, nonsense like that. Um, luckily, we're mostly past that phase. But um, in this article. There is a quote that says, overall, what we show is that ME-CFS is unambiguously biological with multiple organ systems affected. So again, take a deep dive into this. They go into how it's a, it's a systemic disease, a multi-systemic disease, um, and how at this point, um, it's silly to say it's psychosomatic. Uh, there is an overwhelming amount of evidence. It's not at this point. Um, so the, the point of me bringing all of this up is that um, as we um, as we get further and further along with research, there still are people that don't know that this research is happening. Um, they're they're disappointed to not hear a whole lot. I get that in the comments on YouTube sometimes that they don't hear any positive news regarding MECFS. Uh, there are things happening, and um, they're slow. You know, I, I get it. Um, I wish they were a lot faster, but we are getting there. And um, there are people working on it. They are pulling from other illnesses that have similarities. And a lot of the funding that was raised from these other illnesses are kind of commingling with ME and CFS research. So um, that's a great thing uh, for ME CFS. It's unfortunate that there is this huge group of, of people that got sick from, you know, from C19 and all these different other illnesses that are post viral in nature. But it is, it is great that they are starting to say maybe these are all kind of uh, interconnected and a lot of these symptoms could be treated um, across the board. 
So there is some hope, there is some research, there are some great minds working on this, and there is funding coming in. So take a look at these three articles, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I hope everyone's doing well, and uh, hopefully I'll start uh, posting a little bit more often again. All right, take care.